Hello YouTube. Welcome back to this video series on jQuery. Today we'll be seeing about jQuery form selectors and filters. I'm Sri Vitsan from Packet Code, and so let's get started. So what are jQuery selectors for forms? So jQuery selectors for forms are actually uh, used for selecting the form elements in a particular document. And they're all actually a little bit different from the normal selectors that you've seen so far. So the difference is that even the selectors in case of these forms have a colon in front of them. Whereas in case of the normal selectors, only the filters have a colon in front of them. So let's see about the uh, basic form selectors. So these are basically the form selectors that are present in jQuery. So this input selector, as the name suggests, it is used for selecting all the input elements in a particular form. This text selector is used for selecting all the text elements, this password for all the password fields, this radio for all the radio buttons present in the form, and this checkbox for all the checkboxes, submit button, reset button, and uh, image buttons, uh, a normal button and a file upload system. So these are basically uh, the names suggested uh, what it does. So you can uh, take a look at this. And as uh, normal selectors, even the form selectors has filters that can be used for more, for more complex selection. So uh, the enable selector is used for selecting all the form elements that are particularly that are currently enabled. And the disable for uh, selecting all of them that is currently disabled. And the check selector is used for selecting all the form elements that are currently checked. And this can be applied only for check boxes as well as radio boxes. And the selector is used for selecting uh, is used for selecting the particular uh, element that is being selected uh, in case of a drop down box. Okay, so let, let us now see some of them in action. And before that, and before that, you can see that this check selector can be used for selecting all the elements that are checked. But uh, you, if you want to select a particular element that is not checked, then you can use that not selector that you saw in the previous videos. So if you haven't, uh, just go back and take a look at that. So let us now see a few of these selectors in action. So this is the basic form that I've created already and uh, this form has uh, uh, an input text field, three input text fields, a password field, two radio buttons, two checkboxes, a reset button, a submit button and uh, this input type, this is uh, this what it does is, this is actually something uh, similar to the submit button except it has this uh, image background right here. So that is the image and uh, let us see how the form looks. So this is how the form looks. Uh, this is the basic form and you can also create more complex forms and uh, select them. Uh, this is just for demo purposes. And uh, so let us see a few of these selections now. To get started, let us uh, just select uh, the basic input elements that are present. So in this case, what we are going to do is we're just going to add a particular text uh, after this uh, selected element. So input selected. So let us see that in action. So a colon in front of that. This is the basic difference for form selectors. And then type in input. Okay. So what should happen is after every input element that is present here, uh, in this case, all the fields are input elements. You can see that right here, input, 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 and so on. And so after every element, uh, there should be this particular line of text right here input selected. So let us see if that works. You can see that after everything, there is this particular text called as input selected that we passed in. Okay. So let us now uh, see if this thing works for text selected. So change that to text and uh, refresh this. So uh, these three things are the text selectors right here in this form. So all of these text fields have this particular line after them. And uh, let us now uh, check for the password. So there is only one password field right here, input type password. And uh, let us see if that works. You can see that that thing works perfectly fine. Okay. Now moving on to radio buttons. So radio, the similar thing. Just refresh the page. You can see that this one right here is the radio button. This is actually not the radio button. Uh, this is actually a label for that particular radio button. So uh, the text appears right after this uh, circle right here. And uh, for check boxes, that would be check box. Okay, fine. And refresh that. You can see that it appears of the after the check box, and that is similar to this radio buttons right here. This is just the label, and so the text appears right after this box thing. And uh, the reset button. The reset button. And uh, so this is the reset button right here. Uh, anything you type in and click on that, that will go to the default value. And so this text appears after this reset button. And uh, similarly, submit button. So this is the submit button here. And uh, the text appears after the submit button. And uh, let us see if the thing works for images. So image and let us just uh, change something here. Let 
maybe background color to red refresh the page you can see that uh, there is a nice red background behind this particular image right here because that is the image submit button okay so that thing works and uh, let us see if that thing works for uh, okay so basically that is it and let us now uh, check for these uh, you know like the filters right here okay and moreover if you have this uh, you know like uh, let us do something else right here so there is this particular text field we are going to have this text field outside this form and going to type something here after sample text this should be input okay so uh, you can see that uh, this particular uh, text field right here that is not in the form but still this text appears after this uh, thing this input field because that is also input field it basically selects only the input fields if we want to select only the input fields that are present in this particular form then you can use something like uh, you know like say something like form and space so it is going to select only the input fields that are present within a form tag so only these things right here will be selected and this one will be neglected you can see that that happens and that works fine okay so now let us move on to the next thing okay now let us see if the filters work so let us first try with the disabled filter disabled and uh, there is only one disabled text field in this form so the first name field alone is disabled so this uh, text should appear only after uh, this this, uh, this text field alone and uh, there should be no text after the other input fields and uh, let's see if that thing works so refresh and you can see that this is the only thing in the form that is disabled and the text appears after that and uh, let us check for you know like enable text fields the opposite of that we can just remove this thing okay so everything except this particular field that is disabled uh, the text are, uh, the text appears so you can see that uh, the remaining are enabled and so the text appears up after them and uh, okay uh, let us now see if this thing works for you know like uh, check to check boxes so this particular check box right here the movies check bo check box you can see it here this alone is selected so we're just going to select uh, we're just going to uh, change uh, something for this select this thing alone so we need to first select that uh, to do that uh, just use this thing check this is the filter for selecting uh, all the check boxes that are checked so uh, this is going to do something like uh, let us just change the height maybe or width 100 pixels okay and so let us see if that thing works refresh and you can see that uh, there is this 100 pixel gap between this thing right here so that is the width of that particular uh, check the checkbox so that is it about uh, form selectors and filters and that is it about this video and also that is it about the jquery selectors and filters in total so that is it about the complete jquery selectors and filters so in the next videos so we'll be seeing about more advanced topics like uh, animations effects and things like that so that will be more interesting and uh, that is also easier so please keep following us for more videos on this series and uh, thank you for watching thank you